Hello guys, it's uh, Brigadier Childs here and today I'm going to be talking to you about um, how to collect, well, uh, an idea I have on a good German armoured infantry list. So um, the list is out of the Earth and Steel book, German Defence of uh, France, June to September 1944. Um, one of the unique armies in this book that isn't anywhere else to be found um, in other battlefront books is the Panzergrenadier Lehr, or just uh, the Panzer Lehr. But um, today I'm going to do the Panzer Grenadier Force. Um, the reason I've chosen it is it's well priced, it's confident veteran, ton of support options, an absolute ton of half tracks. Um, and uh, I think it's really uh, an interesting list and it will be quite fun to play. As well as being um, a fairly uh, easy uh, armoured grenadier list to collect for Germans. And um, you can you can make, you can... Um, purchase models which means it's not as expensive as it could be so um, obviously you start off with your headquarters uh, which is Panzer Grenadier Lair Company HQ um, that's 65 points for two command SMG teams and um, two STKFZ 2511 half tracks um, uh, I've decided to add the two Panzer Shrek teams just because it's, it's worth it because they pack such a punch and they come with uh, an SD, another half track, and that's another 65 points, and then 20 points to convert the command SMG teams into Panzerfaust SMG teams. Um, now, you, with your combat platoons, you have the options to take up to three Panzer Grenadier Lair platoons and one Panzer Grenadier Lair heavy platoon. Because um, these are actually quite chunky platoons, uh, I've only chosen to take two. Um, so, and there'll be two full size Panzer Grenadier Lair platoons, which is 280 points for three Panzer Grenadier squads, and then converting the Command MG team into a Command Panzerfaust SMG team is uh, 10 points. And in this, you're going to get four half tracks, six MG teams, and three tank hunter teams. And these are essentially um, one ma uh, two man uh, Panzer Shrek teams. Uh, this makes that. Um, for an amazing both defensive and um, offensive platoon. Uh, and I've grabbed two of these, so that gives you a total of uh, eight Panzer Shreks in your force straight away. Um, and yeah, I think the MG teams mean that, you know, if you're static, you're putting out three shots per team per turn at um, 16 inches. You know, that's uh, six times, well, that's 18 shots. Infantry aren't going to come near you. You've got three tank hunter teams. Um, the uh, you know enemy armor is going to suffer quite badly, and you've got the ability to call up your um, half tracks and get mobile and take defensive. If you dump these guys on an objective or in a building in the first turn, they're going to take up a lot of your enemy's time, um, resources, etc. To uh, just just to shift them from where they are, which means you've got maybe enemy artillery hitting them with their three-up save, as opposed to maybe hitting your more vulnerable um, armour. Um, and that's it for combat platoons. I chose not to take a, a heavy platoon, because um, I'm not sure you, uh, you have to take extra half-tracks, and in terms of trying to keep the um, the uh, cost, financial cost of buying this army low, it's cheaper to, uh, to stick to uh, support units that don't require extra half-tracks. Um, and that you can use options from the SS Panzer Grenadier Platoon box set, which you can get for 32 quid, and it comes with enough for you to um, do all your MG teams and your command teams, uh, and then to add three pack 40s into your force, and that's 155 points for three pack 40s without half tracks, because the half tracks will be another 40 points for the platoon. Um, that means you're then you're packing even more anti tank firepower at a longer range with the, I think they've got something like a, uh, here we go, oh damn, I can't find it, uh, there we go, 32 inch range, two shot, tank, 12, three plus gun shield, you know, for the cost, this is, I think, one of the most efficient uh, tank hunters uh, that the Germans have available and possibly even in, in the game as a whole. Um, Perfect, maybe from a British 17 pounder, because um, you know, obviously cheaper, more powerful. So, you know, there we've got basic infantry in three pack 40s. And by the way, this is going to be a 750 points list, bang on. Um, 
Now, I was thinking, you, you're going to want to take some armoured support. So I grabbed three uh, Panzer, um, Panzer Fours for 380 points. Panzer Lair, uh, Panzer Lair Platoon, yeah. Um, and that just gives you a good, you know, medium armoured force. You can put out a lot of firepower. It's got, you know, uh, you can, you're putting out 24 machine gun shots per turn if you stay static, if you're fighting a horde of Russian horribleness. Or you can put out um, six uh, anti-tank, 11 shots a turn at a good, decent range. So, um, you know, obviously it's another very good, powerful force uh, and just provides extra support for your infantry or something to focus your uh, your thrust of your attack around. Now, um, obviously we've got no artillery in at this point and um, artillery are the gods of war. And um, I think for the Germans in the Normandy book, the most cost-effective artillery comes in the form of, well, for, for the better German lists in this book, shall we say, uh, not not if you're playing <laughs> Luftwaffe Feld Division, um, comes in the support of rocket launchers. And at this point, we've got enough points to go for the 21cm Nebelwerfer 42 launchers. And you can grab a battery of six launchers with two observer teams, two Kuba Vargans and the Command SMG team um, for 240 points. Which I think is you know, fantastic because if I find the the uh, stats for the gun, they ha they are a light team, so they're quite mobile. They have a seventy two inch range, which is um, all, which is eight inches more than uh, the smaller Nebelwerfer. They are only anti tank three, so you're mainly going to be using them for smoke smoke bombardments or um, for knocking out light enemy vehicles, enemy infantry, enemy gun teams, you know, uh, counter-battery fire. Um, their winning factor over the smaller Nebelwerfer, which is 40 points cheaper, isn't the range, I think. I, uh, personally, I'd say it's the firepower. The 3 out firepower instead of 4 out firepower, it makes quite a difference. It just means that um, you're, you're, you're more likely to pass that test and get that crucial uh, knocking out uh, vehicles. When, when you're firing against vehicles. Because, um, you know, it's it's a horrible feeling to get a hit, for the enemy to save their, t their uh, top armour test, you know, roll that one, and then for you to uh, roll a three, or roll a four, and not destroy the vehicle, only to, and only to have the, uh, the crew jump back in the next turn. So I think the three, the three plus makes, makes quite a difference. And um, obviously they can launch smoke bombardments over a long distance, um, but you really you want to hit the enemy before they can hit you with these, because as a rocket launcher, you've got smoke trails, which makes it much easier to for the enemy to range in on you. Uh, I chose to go for these over the Panzer for 42, the Maltier, the uh, the armored rocket launcher. Even though the armored rocket launcher, you know, you can take a battery of eight and then uh, give them extra crew for 40 points, which means that your your uh, your guns count as 16 weapons firing. Which means, you know, double width, uh, 12 inch template, 12 inch square, sorry, and you um, and you reroll failed to hit rolls. You know, that's that's ridiculous. It's so powerful, but it is, you know, it is, it's a lot of points. It's it comes up to 405 points for that unit, and they have they are only 15 centimeter rockets, so they've only got four plus firepower and the tank three and i just think you know i prefer to take that static rocket launcher unit it also uh, costs less money to go out and buy um i had 245 points left to spend at this point and i was thinking you know we've got infantry we've got a little bit of armor and not a huge amount uh 240 points won't get you a lot of armor in the normandy book um Especially with the options, the uh, support options the Panzer and Mayor have are often a bit pricier. I know I haven't got any reconnaissance, but um, in this force, I'm not, I'm not going to fuss about that. What I wanted was some good heavy anti-tank because if you come up against um, Churchill Sevens, uh, IS Twos, you know, if you, even if you end up playing another German player and come up against some Panthers or Tigers. Those pack forties and those um, 
those Panzer IVs are going to have a tough time getting over anything anything heavier than a medium tank. So the Panzer Lehr have the option of taking a heavy anti-aircraft gun Lehr platoon, which um, when I first got this, because I was, you know, it's the first thing I wanted to get, but um, you can take up to three anti-aircraft sections uh, with a flak 36. That means you're getting in three flak 36s along with the, um, the HQ section. It's, um, I, ch I, could, I didn't have the points left to take the extra crew and get rate, uh, a total of nine shots a turn out of these three guns. Um, you, you're stuck with six shots a turn at 245 points each. Um, but I think it's worth it because these guns are... Oh, sorry, my voice went a bit there. 40-inch range, two shots, anti-tank three, three-plus firepower. It's got a gun shield. It's heavy anti-aircraft. So um, you're protecting, you can protect your other assets um, if the enemy brings air support, which unfortunately uh, every Allied player will have the option to do. Well, almost every Allied player. Um, and it's turntable. So, you know, you can, set, you can set these up on a ridge, space them out nicely. If you've, got, um, if you've got three, you can cover plenty of lanes. You've got loads of, loads of options with, these, with taking them. Um, three guns and I could have taken just uh, just two guns and then taken the extra and that would have been you know I'd have still had six shots for 185 but I think three guns is better I know it's more and you're only getting the same shots but um, the unit can take more casualties it is veteran so it's harder to hit than a normal Luftwaffe uh, flak 36 platoon it's harder to hit especially if they're dug in which they are automatically now the first turn um, and you know, if you lose one gun, you've still got four shots. If you take two guns with extra crew, you lose one gun, you're down to three shots. You know, um, the unit's more survivable, it's more flexible taking three guns as opposed to two with the uh, extra crew. I mean, if I had the points, I'd take three guns and then spend 30 points getting the extra crew. It's nine shots a turn, um, enemy armor just evaporates. You know, you are, uh, I'll see your tank of Ian. Blow it to kingdom come, frankly. So, yeah, that takes us up to 1,750 points, which is what most Flames of War games are, and certainly what most tournaments are. Um, on, the, on the matter of tournaments, I'm planning to go to a few tournaments in the UK over the summer. Uh, I'm planning on going to Wargame in Reading as well, which I think is in September. Um, I've been looking online at a lot of stuff about it. I'd advise any of you guys uh, watching this to go out and... Um, and uh, go there. The Plastic Soldier Company were there last year, uh, showing off some of their new models. By that time, I reckon they might have brought out uh, a Tiger, hopefully. I'd, I'd love to uh, be able to do a um, heavy Tiger uh, company. But um, yeah, War Games, it's, it's tournaments, it's a big uh, game fair, and covers a whole load of ranges, and it's put on by the Reading, Reading War Gaming Society, which by then I will be a member of, because uh, I'm moving up to Reading at the end of July, and... Um, that's, that's one of the tournaments I'm looking forward to going to. Um, if any of you guys in the UK know of uh, double tournaments coming up uh, in the kind of around August, because I can't go before, I'm stuck in South Wales, and at the end of July I have to move house, so uh, that kind of stuff is a no-go. But uh, if you know any double tournaments coming up, I've got a friend, and we just absolutely love to get in, to get in and do some of these tournaments. Um, but... Uh, uh, I'm having a diff difficulty locating them and working out you know, how many points do you get per player in most in a usual tournament. Because if it's we we don't know if it's going to be 1750 for the whole team or if we're going to have that kind of um, you know that kind of points allowance each. I think it's unlikely that we'll have that each, but um, it, it'll be interesting. I'd really like to get on with that. But anyway, I've, I've just deviated a load, so I'll, I'll get back to it. So you've got your Panzer Lab. Lair company here, the Panzer Grenadier Lair. Um, 1750 points, uh, confident veteran. So even if there's no modifiers, every time your opponent's shooting at you, half the time they're going to miss, they need a four up to hit you, which is just fantastic. So HQ is three half tracks, two Panzer Shrek teams, two Command SMG teams. Your combat squad, you have. Um, in each platoon, you've got two platoons. In each platoon, you've got four half tracks, 
six uh, MG teams and I think three um, Panzer, uh, sorry, three tank hunter teams with Panzer Shreks, as well as um, a command Panzer Falsch team, um, which brings you up to eight Panzer Shreks in your force. Now that's, wow, that's crazy. You know, Americans can field tons and tons of bazookas. Um, this is, I think, the only way, it's definitely the only way in the books I've got that Germans can get that that kind of infantry firepower onto um, onto a table. Um, you've also got four half tracks. Whoops, there's a phone going off. You've also got four half tracks in um, in each platoon, and then you've got three pack forties, four Panzer fours, six Naval Werfers, three Flak thirty six. It's for seventeen fifty points. You've got so much firepower, so much potential in terms of tactics. You know, you can rush. Can defend. You know, you've you've got a lot. You've got a lot of flexibility with this force.